local talent for this Kennesaw State team. And we are off from DKS. First pitch is a strike by Tristan Smith. Bouton with a drive into deep left field. That's gone. And that is out of here. So Kennesaw State's offense put on a show yesterday, and Isaac Bouton's looking to continue it. It's a 1-0 start with two outs in the top of the first for the outs. Well, we haven't mentioned, but there is a significant wind blowing out to left field. If you get the ball up in the air, towards left and left center field. It is really going to carry. Nate Anderson, the lefty now stepping in. Oh, nice. oh my goodness, what a play at first base. Hinderlier with the diving effort, scurries to the bag. First pitch swung on and driven into center field by Hinderlider. Ranging back to the wall and that ball is out of here. Jacob Hinderlider made a Incredible play at first base. A couple innings back. Picks up the rest of his offense with a solo shot to draw this thing even at one. And throw strikes, make good pitches. Breaking ball through the hole, and Crichton's got himself a single. Be a base runner for the Tigers. Crichton continues to creep off over on first base. Canarella puts a charge into one. Deep left center field, ball still carrying to the track, to the wall, and that baby is gone. The projected number one pick in the 2025 draft continues to boost his stock as he belts one out to left center to give the Tigers a 3-1 lead. That was a high fastball. And we've talked about Canarella using the whole field so, so well. He has the ability to get his hands up above the ball. And as we take another look, another one of those that gets up in the air and just continues to carry. The celebration, the turn to the dugout, and the energy in the building. Especially in this wind. The 0-2, ball on the ground. Tough hop at shortstop. Shufo fires it over the head of Hinderleiter and a fortunate break for the Tigers as it hit off the screen in the dugout and bounced right back. Payoff pitch. Swung on and driven through the hole. A chance to go first to third for Cash. And he will wisely halt at second base, but still. Now two runners on base for the Owls at the top of the fourth inning. Hassan will drill one out into left field. We'll see if they send Cash from third base. It's bobbled out there by Will Taylor. And the Owls will strike once again as they pull this thing back to three to two. Two one, right back where it came from, up the middle, and the Owls are gonna draw even at three. But a big moment for Jamari Brooks with two outs as he answers the call. Payoff pitch to McDuffie. In there, strike three looking. 3-1 to Obertop. Misses downstairs, and it'll be a leadoff base runner for the Tigers in the bottom of the fourth. He's going to be undermined or anything. It's just it's really, really special. 2-2 Two -two was upstairs, but Naraki was able to drive it into left field. Obertop's going to have to pump the brakes at second base, but it's a nice start to the bottom of the fourth for the Tigers. The 1-2. Crichton up the middle, deflected, and everybody's going to be safe. It was right back at Blake Ida. It might have caught a piece of his glove and just died before it got to the second baseman. And as a result, Crichton's standing on first base. 2-1 to Canarella. Canarella puts a charge into one, and that's going to be extra bases potentially. Multiple Tigers going to score. Canarella will push for second, and he is in there. What an afternoon for Cam Canarella as he's now given his team the lead twice in the early going. Canarella able to get his hands inside the ball. There's the breaking pitch, drives it down the right field line, and I love the base running that he did. He, that ball should have been thrown to second base. The guy, at the, 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 the guy who was on first was not going to score. 2-2 Two -two to Taylor. Swung on and missed, strike three. Five strikeouts to one walk ratio. Your coaching staff will take that. Second base on balls of the afternoon issued. Maybe a little bit of announcer's jinx right there by myself, so I apologize to Tristan. The 0-1. Bouton ball on the ground and finds the hole. Two runners on now for Kennesaw State. The 0-2. Swung on and missed. Strike three. He's got one of the best arms on the Clemson staff. First pitch to Hanson right back up the middle. Nice play by Wright at second base, but he's safe. Coming around to score will be Shirillo. And now scrambling to third is another Kennesaw State Owl. 
So Bowden will go all the way to third. Shirillo will score. Jufo able to knock it down on the diving play. Tried to make the play at second base. He was going to be safe. Then the runner at second kept going, and Jufo tried to make the throw. But... 2 2 for Malstead, swing and a miss. 3 0 goes to the fastball, and that one might have been in the zone, but gets the ball four call. Crichton with the drive into right center field. That spells trouble for the hours. Crichton's thinking two, and he's in there and safe. How about the production that Eric Backich and co. have gotten out of Jack Crichton from the nine hole? Three for three. The 0-2, and it hit him. Right on the leg, and Canarella is fired up. The bases are juiced with nobody out for the Tigers. Struggling a little bit. That ain't going to do it. Grounder to third. Play is made at the plate, and the bases will stay loaded for Clemson after the fielder's choice. Tigers. 2-2 is scorched to the shortstop. Double play chance for the Owls. And how about Braden Edson? Stands in the fire, surrenders the bases loaded, and gets out of it. A huge momentum lift for the Kennesaw State Owls. 1-1 is driven to left field, and that'll fall for a base hit. So the Owls finally see one go through the hoop, if you will, against Lucas Malstead. Another move back over to Corbin. It actually hit the first base umpire and got past the first base. Corbin will pump the brakes at second base, but the Owls get a runner into scoring position. Malstead now fires one past Shufo at shortstop. So two pickoff errors by Lucas Malstead are going to move Zach Corbin from first to third, and all of a sudden the tying runner is on third base. Infield in for the Tigers. 0-2 count to Shirillo. And that's going to go past Jimmy Obertop and score the tying run. Boy. So after a leadoff single by Zach Corbin, Malstead commits two errors on failed pickoff attempts. And that ball scurries by Obertop to the backstop to tie this ball game up as we take another look. Well, that's, I think that's a pass ball. That was not in the dirt. Payoff pitch. Outside for ball four. Second base on balls issued of the afternoon. Some Cajun Cafe. And that looks fantastic. A single by Hanson. Going to go first to third here for the Owls. And more trouble for the Tigers in the top of the seventh. Runners on the corners. Hassan, routine grounder to third base. Play pulls him off the bag, and the ball is actually knocked out. The Owls are going to take the lead and might score another run. Play at the plate. Throw by Matt. This is on a rope, and he's out. But not before Kennesaw State takes the lead. Pretty routine throws. Ball on the ground to third. There's Blake Wright, and could not come up with the ball cleanly. And this would be a huge insurance run for them. First pitch to Corbin, shot at third base. Nice play by Blake Wright. It hops over to first, and that might be scored as a sixth error of the afternoon for the Tigers. Rightly so. First pitch swing in is Shirillo on the ground to short. And the flip is made. A little bit of a miscommunication, and a run might score for Kennesaw State. Play at the play, and he is safe. Hey, you see the, the high hopper. Chufo not... Sure. Oh, he's got it. Yeah. It was a bang-bang play at second. Purify fired at home, and I actually do think that Anderson was able to slide in underneath the tag. Barely out. I'm not sure this will show it. Indicative of, of committing six errors. So that angle might be the one that is the proof in the pudding, if you will. Will be signaled the third out of the top of the eighth inning at home plate. The one-two. Enderleiter with a drive. Center field. Drifting back is Anderson. At the track, and that baby's gone. Answer the call and have yourself a day. Jacob Henderleiter, a solo shot once again. His second of the afternoon. And the Tigers tie this thing up at six. Well, it's a high fastball. We talked earlier about you better keep the ball down. But the ball just kept carrying. See the fastball up in the strike zone. He makes pretty good contact. He's not sure, but Anderson is <laughs> a look of disgust as that ball flies over his head for a home run. Good piece of hitting by Hinderleiter. Big day for him.
So now two solo shots for Hinderleiter. And talk about swinging a hot bat. That's Jack Crichton, and that one's actually going to drop. Crichton's thinking about two, wisely pumps the brakes, dives back into first base. And that is now four for four for the Clemson nine-hole hitter, Jack Crichton. Canarella with another base hit. Drops in front of the left fielder, and the Tigers are cooking in the bottom of the eighth for the Tigers for Will Taylor to break out of his mini slump to start the He's season. Instead, Taylor Super puts one fun. down. This is going to be a tough play for Edson. He makes it. Two and one to right. Driven right back up the middle. That's going to score one Tiger, maybe two. Relay throw and wisely held up at third base is Cam Canarella, but not before the Clemson Tigers take the lead off bat of Blake Wright. Talk about answering the call in a big moment. Right down the middle. Blake Wright did a great job just driving it up the middle. Surprising that Canarilla didn't score there. The 1-0. Mathis with the drive. He unloaded into that one. Deep right field. Will it get out? It will not. Canarella will score on the sack fly. And everyone in the stadium thought that that baseball was out of here. Oh, my goodness. 2-2. Two -two. Driven into left field by Obertop. And it's another base runner for the Tigers. And there was another breaking ball. In the right-handed batter's box. Payoff pitch. Shufo puts a charge into that one, but right at McDuffie, it's short. Routine play is made. Darden trying to avoid that walk, but issues the base on balls to Bouton. 2-0 to Cash, who's got a lot of power, trying to display it. That ball shot to center field. Mathis confidently gets under it. 0-1 to Hanson. Ball's driven into right field. Crichton. Underneath it, the two and two from Hughes. That'll do it. Hassan, center field. Mathis is underneath it. And Barlow delivers to the lifting. It's swung on and hit right back up the middle. Base hit. That will score the runner. Top of one. And the 0-2 pitch is swung on, and that is looped down the right field line. Fair ball. That's going to score one. Over to dig it out in the right field corner is Parks. He'll get it into second base. They'll stop the runner at third, and then the runner at second. Pitches away from the pitcher. 2-1 is right back up the box and through. Base hit. That's going to be the third two-out base hit that will produce a run. 2-1 pitch, that is in the air to center. Mathis backing, still backing. Goes up on the terrace at the wall and watches it sail out of here. It hits the batter's eye. Cash with a long home run to center. Hey, he hit it really well, and you thought that Alden Mathis may have a beat on it, but he just kept drifting back like you said, Don. 1-0 delivery, swung on, and that's a fair ball past the first baseman who was drawn in. Blouser, Parks will get over, dig that one out of the corner, scoring easily from second is Hassan. With only one out. 2-1 pitch, ground ball up the middle and past the diving shortstop. One run in, two runs in. It is now 7-0. So here's Hassan, and Hassan lifts a fly ball that is going to go in the left center field gap. Taylor will get to it, get it into second base, but that'll score a couple of more, and it's 10-0. And here's a hot shot that goes through the whole right side as Wright was breaking over towards the bag. That'll score a couple of more. So here's the catcher, Nick Hassan. Infield drawn in. First pitch of Hassan, that's hit high and deep to left. Ballpark not going to hold that one. That is way out of here. That's 20 rows up. Yep. And the two-run homer by Hassan gives him five RBIs here today. And then Singleton scored in the seventh. And here he'll single in the eighth up the middle for a base hit. Rounding third and headed plateward will be McDuffie. He will score and hoops tomorrow. Here's a hot shot by the shortstop and into left field for a base hit. That will score the runner from third, Bouton, on the play. Here's Brody Kahn. Kahn a ground ball to third, his first at bat. Hits a high fly ball to center. Back in the center fielder on the terrace, looks up, gone, Kahn! A home run. 2-2 offering, line on him, one hop to the shortstop. Pick there, they throw to second for one, on to first, double play, ball game. 